day case spinal surgery is something we're really, really excited about. And we are one of the few centers, in fact, uh, in the world that offer day case spinal surgery. And a few years ago, this wasn't possible at all. Um, so we now do 95% of uh, all our open surgical cases are done as day case surgery. And this will range from the smaller type of operations, such as a microdiscectomy, right through to uh, multi-level decompression uh, in the lumbar spine. Uh, we will do disc replacement. We'll do disc replacements in the neck, anterior cervical surgery, posterior neck surgery. Um, even uh, fusions or even multi-level uh, lumbar fusions uh, in the lumbar spine. And patients will come in, uh, have that surgery done, they'll be up and about within a few hours, and they will go home on the same day. So really amazing stuff. And a few years ago, uh, we weren't able to do these, these types of things. So I'm very excited to be talking to you about this today. If you're coming to our center to have day case spinal surgery, our patients will come in uh, usually um, first thing in the morning. Um, they're prepared in a very sort of traditional kind of way. They'll have their operation uh, done, usually in the morning. And then within a few hours, they'll be up and about and they will walk out of the hospital in the afternoon. They will return home and they will sleep in their own beds on the same night of surgery, which is really amazing. So how effective is day case spinal surgery? It's incredibly effective. Um, as I said, probably 95% of our open spinal cases we're now able to achieve uh, as day case surgery. And, um, and we are able to do that because we're able to prepare, we do things in a very special way. Um, and the, the, the way we achieve this is twofold really. One is in terms of how we approach um, our patients. So we try very hard not to make, you know, big incisions, big holes in, 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 in patients' backs. We do everything in a minimally invasive type of way. So we're avoiding stripping the muscles. We're only going exactly where we need to go and nowhere else. So it's very, very targeted surgery. And then we combine that with special types of anesthesia. So rather than having that very old fashioned, uh, very heavy type of general anesthetic, which can make you feel very rough afterwards, um, we use much lighter anesthetic and we use regional anesthetic techniques. And it's those combination of things that allows patients to be up and about within a few hours, pain-free, walking and able to go home. Well, the length of the procedure depends on what we're doing, and some procedures are more complicated than others. But, uh, I mean, actually, the type of surgery we do doesn't really take any longer than um, the more traditional uh, surgery. But it's just done in an, a very a neater type of way, where we're much more targeted in terms of our uh, approach. No, I guess if we're thinking in terms of side effects, the whole point about day case spinal surgery is trying to avoid those nasty side effects, which are the things that keep patients in hospital for days lying on their back. So for example, by using lighter anesthetics, it means that it's very unusual for patients to feel sick afterwards, uh, you know, to vomit, to feel unwell. Um, so they, they don't have that sort of hangover feeling afterwards and they're up and about. And, and feeling pretty good. And um, it, we try really, really hard to control the pain. And again, that's by using special uh, drugs, by using our regional anesthetic techniques. And also because of our approaches, we're avoiding making um, unnecessary, uh, you know, big incisions. We're trying to be very targeted. And, and that means that there's much, much less in the way of pain and discomfort afterwards, which allows you to be up and about and, uh, and to go home on the same day. Well, that's really simple. I mean, the main thing is that they are prepared uh, to come in and to go home. So they're up and about. Uh, most patients are surprised how well they feel. They often say they can't believe they've had an operation done. Um, and they walk out of the hospital and, and head home. 
Um, and in terms of what they can do, well, essentially for most operations, we ask patients to take things steadily for the first few weeks. Uh, we don't want them lying around in bed. We want people up and about and walking around. And we talk about just simply potting around at, at home, taking short walks outside, um, really important over the first few weeks. And then gradually building up that walking uh, and exercise and we keep, um, we keep very close contact with our patients over that first week. We'll often give them a telephone call to make sure that they're happy and things are fine. And obviously they have painkillers to, to go home with and uh, you, you know they will need to use uh, painkillers as well. And then we see them back usually a couple of weeks after surgery and then at six weeks. And then really it's very straightforward. Patients progress back very quickly. And because we've done everything in a very minimal access approach and we haven't stripped the, the muscles as much as you would in a traditional operation, patients recover really, really quickly and uh, very quickly return to work, quickly return to doing exercise and all the types of activities uh, that they enjoy doing.